Hey, welcome to this video. So, it's been quite, well, actually, I'm back, motherfuckers. That's all there is to it. It's been quite a while since I last made a video, and it's not just about the last time I made a video, it's about the frequency I'm making them, not very often. So, I thought, okay, my situation has changed a little bit, and I'm much more able to um, make videos. I'm just replying to a text message while I'm doing this. Uh, hope you sleep well. X. There you go. Um, where was I? So, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe. It. Whenever I reply to text messages and do stuff like this at the same time, I always forget. Um. Yeah, it's been quite a while since I last made a video, so here we go. What I'm going to be doing in this video is something a little bit different and very simple. You see, I want people to understand that when you're doing your breakdowns or uplifting part, you do not always need to overcomplicate it. I hear some breakdowns and um, some, you know, very the, the parts that are supposed to be minimal contain ridiculous amounts of instruments in them sometimes I hear like six seven different things going in the beginning and I'm thinking wow this is a part where you're supposed to calm everything down but a lot of people get get caught up in that area and they think more is better um, sometimes it's not as simple as that and so what I want just that's all I wanted to say just a little bit of advice that I've noticed try to start off as small as you can and build up slowly not go bam with loads of instruments more is better is not always true in this case uh, yeah so what we have here is a bass pad and a piano what is a bass pad well a bass pad is something that you use during the part where the kick goes out of focus and you start bringing things down so that's pretty simplistic really that's where you'll usually use them or in chill out during usually the whole way through or other parts a mid or high pad is a little bit different you will use them for different functions but the bass pad is pretty simple piano it's our melody that's what we're using and simple as that now as you notice here we could we could have done this over eight bars but we've done this over 16 bars simple really when you're doing these parts of your track you want to create it as different as possible over as many bars as possible so if we had just eight bars here and we just repeated that it would sound too repetitive for something like this we want to create something unique during the track so if the rest of the track is repetitive over eight bars most of it then our uplifting part can be even longer less repetitive which creates a variation throughout the track that's really important at least in my my um, own opinion let's play this back what we have here two instruments very very simple but very very powerful Now with this we can start building on it much more further. This was a melody and a pad um, that I created. Well it was going to be a pretty complex chord progression but don't need to. Sounds powerful enough as it is. My whole point of this video is really really simple. Why overcomplicate when you can just bring it down? That's my lesson. Okay, thank you for watching.